I think that my grandfather was an incredible leader in many ways and I think his version of leadership looks different than what we see now. He very much led with love. He really saw strength and softness. He was a very gentle human being and I love him for that and I think that that's an aspiration to be that type of leader and I hope that he serves it as an example of that form of leadership of, of connecting and empathy and humility and decency. It, and um, that kind of brings up another question um, about the divisive nature of politics today. You know, what, what's needed to sort of bridge this, this gap between the two parties, between the two sides, between households even? Mm -hmm. I really think that it requires the willingness and bravery to listen. Um, in my experience in the world and in my work, I work with people from around the world and we have much more in common than we have not in common. And so I think it requires a curiosity of others and to want to learn what motivates other people and not to quickly make assumptions about someone based on something that they said or based on a party they affiliate with. I think most people would say that they were human before they were the party that they affiliate with and trying to find that common humanity is so critical both in terms of moving forward, but also in the beauty of living and getting to know other people. I am registered as an independent, and I think my sister is too, although I don't know, that's personal. Um, but I've never received any pushback. And for me, I wanna know, I want to be aware of who I'm voting for and what issues I'm voting for, and I have the curiosity around that, um, instead of just making a blanket uh, decision. And that's more, I feel more comfortable in that way in terms of voting and uh, you know, other people feel comfortable in different ways, but that's what I'm comfortable with.